Good morning, you guys, and happy Sunday. We are on our way downstairs because we are in a rush. We just got our first notification saying to start my batch or move to an area with good connection or something like that. So we're heading to Sprouts. We picked up a nice, easy 38 single at Sprouts and Hillcrest. We should be able to get there on time. Even though I feel a little rushed, I think we're gonna make it. So I'm not sure if you guys noticed from the screenshot of the batch that I took, but I did move from Point Loma to downtown. It was a long time coming and honestly no shade on Point Loma, but I just didn't really like the area that we were at. So we moved to a really nice building downtown and this Sprouts order right here is kind of the first little proof of getting more orders from Hillcrest as well as downtown. I did see a pretty good order for only like 21 items going from Ralph's, but it was going to Coronado K's, which is about, I don't know, 12 or 13 miles didn't really feel like making that drive so waited a little bit picked up this little number so we're only a few minutes away from sprouts and we're gonna get this order done as quick as possible she lives extremely extremely close if you guys take a look at this video i'll show you exactly how close she is literally right down the street i'm gonna try to knock this out within 30 minutes it should be a really easy shop and then we're gonna try to do one more before costco drop today so hopefully it's a busy day i was seeing a lot of volume before i took this my goals today are really to keep my energy high all day long and to not have waiting periods more than 30 minutes the thing is on Sundays people can get really picky they know there's really good orders on Sundays that can make them wait forever especially at Costco because when you're hearing about people getting 90s and hundreds and you're waiting and you're like oh I want to get one of those too and then you're waiting for two and a half three hours and it's like oh man just wasted three or four hours of my day when I could have taken that 45 two hours ago so we're pulling the sprouts and we're gonna run this real quick So that was like a 15 minute shop. It was not that busy in there, so we got in and out real quick. And we are gonna be there right around nine. I wanted to be there before, but it might be just a tick after. So I'm gonna throw this cart back and get out of here. So we got that one up to 43 and delivered it exactly at 9 a.m. So we have time to do one more before Costco drop. It's 9.02, we're back at Sprouts and we're gonna try to get something here that's quick. I've got a lot of stores around me. There's a Vaughn's, Lazy Acres, there's Ralph's right down the street. So we have good odds of getting one more before the drop and we'll see. I don't really go to the drops a lot lately, but today is Sunday and I have you know high hopes for Sunday drops when it comes to just about all stores. So we're gonna post up here for a little bit longer in Hillcrest and and see if anything comes in that I can run real quick before going to Costco. We picked up this 46, 41 items, single, like two minutes after I filmed that last clip. I'm shopping it here in Hillcrest. I have to do it really quick because if I wanna make the drop, you know, this is really gonna test to see how good I am. And we have to pick quality, fresh items and at the same time be quick. So I'm not gonna film a lot of the shop. I'm just gonna try to get it done and I'll let you guys know how it goes. Hopefully we'll see you at Costco. That's the delivery building. Whew. We gotta make this quick. 947. Hazards are on and let's go. 954. We're like at least 10 to 12 minutes from every single Costco. Well, not every Costco. Every Costco that I'm close to, I'm like 10 to 12 minutes from. That's like two or three. I'm just gonna pick one. The positive is we're up $104 this morning. We got that last one up to 58. She just kept adding items and like, I had a feeling I wasn't gonna make the drop. I never really found a rhythm. She kept throwing stuff in. I had to keep backtracking. Still got the shop done within like 20, 25 minutes or less. And then I had to go up to the sixth floor. So I was in there delivering and the people on the elevator were like, yeah, good thing the elevator is working today because last night it wasn't. And I was like, what? <laughs> I would have had to walk up six flights of stairs to deliver her order. But we're on our way to Costco. We're going to try to pick something decent up. We're already on pace today for a good number. I don't really care about missing the drop for a 58 or a 57. So hopefully the day keeps rolling and we keep making good money today. I'll let you guys know what we get next. All right, so we just got to Vaughn's. We showed up late to Costco and it was pretty whack. So didn't want to wait around more than like 20 minutes. Picked up a nice nine item 30, which should take less than 30 minutes. Dollar a minute. You guys know how I do it, so I'm gonna run in, roll through this, and then go charge in Claremont. So, make this quick right now.
pretty quick shop. We had to wait a little bit at the deli. There's a lot of people waiting for like sliced meats and stuff. Good thing is she lives right across the street pretty much. It should be like a two or three minute drive at the most depending on the lights. So let me go drop this off real quick. All right, super easy drop off real quick. They're carving pumpkins today. So tis the season to carve pumpkins even though it's 75 degrees right now in San Diego. So it's 11.05 and we are up almost 140, which is a very good start. We're on track for 200 before two. We're heading to Claremont. We're gonna charge the car for a little bit and hopefully catch something there. If not, we're going to just figure out a game plan and go from there. But right now we gotta go charge and I will let you guys know what we get next. Hopefully it just keeps rolling and it seems good. It seems like a lot of guys are moving today. Most everybody got something decent. Hopefully it stays like this the entire day. So yeah, we're just gonna keep it moving. Okay, so we were charging in Claremont and we picked up a 65 single and uh, it's a repeat. So we're gonna run this and get it done real quick. All right, in and out like the burger joint, real quick. 20 minute shop. My favorite cashier was closed right when I got to him. So, but we got uh, we got other options. She was quick with it. Now we're gonna load this up, go into PB, and figure out our next move from there. This puts us over 200 by I think 12. I'm not sure what time it is right now. But time to load this up right now. Okay, so we are at 2.05 before 12.45, which is honestly a very good number. We started pretty early. We didn't start like super early. I've had that last customer like probably 15, 20 times at least. And that's why I'm assuming Instacart sent me her order while I was in Claremont. She is a good tipper. That was a good order. So now we're posted up in PB. We're gonna see if we can get anything here. I might end up going back to Costco, but sometimes it can be a long wait for a batch that's not that good. So we're gonna see what PB has to offer. Hopefully something comes in soon. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I don't wanna be waiting all day today. If we're gonna have wait times, I want to keep it to like 30 minutes or under. So as soon as I get my next batch, I'll let you guys know. All right, so I waited forever, picked up a 50 double and took this 16 add-on. Should be close to a 70 triple. Long wait, didn't like it. Uh, we're gonna try to make this one quick. I don't do a lot of triples, but when I do, it's always good to have the boxes. I'm gonna go A right up here, B, C. Easy as that, A, B, C. That way I won't get confused. That did not take very long. We got the separation. Looks nice and clean. Hopefully we got it up a little bit. Would love to see it be a 70, but it might not be. Regardless, it's a good order. So we're gonna load this up and get on our way. All right, we got that one delivered. It went up to 73. So taking that add-on really was beneficial for us. I don't like doing triple orders unless it's like really good, like 60 plus, 70. And it's not just because I'm picky, it's just because most of the time they fit in someone who doesn't really tip good. And honestly, customer B on this order could have tipped better. Their bill was over a hundred bucks and they didn't even tip. I think they tipped like 5%, but it's whatever. Customer A carried us on that order. She was also a repeat. I actually had her for a single, it was like a triple digit, like 105. I wanna say like a year ago. She doesn't order very often. Today was her 89th order. It would be awesome if she ordered a little bit more because she is a very good tipper. It's always like 20% or more. We're gonna head back down the coast, see if we can pick up something else. We're at 278 and let's just keep the needle moving up. Okay, so we just picked up a quick little 32 for 12 items. Really good repeat here. Finally, not a lot of waiting. I just got back to Gelson's like probably five minutes and then this came in. So I'm gonna run this really quick. We'll see if an add-on comes and then we will figure out where to go from there. Four bags, 10 minutes, easy, super easy. And then we're gonna go right down the street with this. Should be back here in 10 minutes. This will put us over 300 before four, which is a very good number. Bro, finally some momentum. Dropped that last one off within probably three minutes. Pick this number up right here, super quick. Couldn't say no. I could do these all day. Forget bangers. These add up to be bangers. I could do three of these in an hour. Turns into 90 bucks. So uh, I'm just gonna get going and gonna keep pushing. So here we go. 
lines are terrible right now, so we're gonna run through self-checkout. That could have been a lot worse if we had alcohol on the order, but we don't. I got in and now. I'm gonna bag it right here before I put it in the car, just because the line for self-checkout was kind of long too. I want them to move along, try to be considerate, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna bag this up, load it up, drop this off, see where it puts us. Guys, today is crazy. There was only one slow period so far for me today. I dropped that order off, another repeat. I'm getting a lot of repeats today. It's not like I'm just stacking money because it's so hot in PB. Like, I'm not sure if others are having as much success or not, but I'm getting a lot of repeats. That put me at 342, and then literally within a minute of dropping that order off, a 52 in Mission Valley at Ralph's popped up on my screen with, I believe, a 40 flat tip. I missed the screenshot because I had one bar of service or something like that just because like where I dropped off in La Jolla was uh, not good service for me. I'm also gonna charge there, so that's perfect. We'll see, I might do one more after, I might call it a day. This gets me really close to 400. So it's been really good today, but I don't wanna go all day. I wanna enjoy the rest of my Sunday. Right now it's 418, so we're about 15 minutes from Mission Valley. We're gonna head there right now and take care of this batch right here. We got baby plugged in right now, so we're gonna head inside, grab a cart. And this is only 29 items with, like I said, a 40 flat tip. So the fact that I got it from PB, I'm assuming it's a repeat. This route looks familiar. It looks like somebody that I've had multiple times. So I'll let you guys know, obviously, when I get there, if it's a repeat. All right, we were in and out super quick on that one. Kinda got lucky, I think, because this store gets packed sometimes. I'm not sure if it's because they have less hands on deck or what, but yeah, we were in and out with that one. No waiting at all. This go in about 10 minutes, Tierra Santa. Might call it and go home after, might do one more, we'll see. But for now, we're gonna get this dropped off. All right, so we just delivered that. I'm pretty sure she was a repeat from a while back. I haven't had her in a long time. That put us at just under 395. So I think I'm just gonna roll the dice and maybe hope somebody ups the tip later. If not, I really could care less. This is a great day. It's 515 and I'm gonna make my way back home and try to just enjoy the rest of this Sunday. So as soon as I get back home, I'll give you guys the breakdown on how the day went, exactly what time the orders came in and the overall number. So I'll see you guys back at the pad. All right, so we made it back home, had to go offline because I didn't want to get tempted to take a batch and be out later than I wanted to be on a Sunday. I got home before six. I did eight batches today, over $300 in tips. So huge shout out to everybody that tipped really well today. No absolute bangers today, but we still had an amazing day. I can never complain about a 394 day. On the week so far, we're at 2265, and I'm assuming my adjustment should be close to 300 since I did a lot of orders this past week. So that should put me just above 2,500 total for the entire week after next week's adjustment hits on Thursday. As for you guys, I hope you guys are crushing it out there. If you guys have any questions for me on how I strategize my day and how I go about my day, just drop them in the comment section below and I will respond to everybody. So I appreciate each and every one of you guys for watching this video and for the support. And I'll see you in the next one.